bit of a red flag. Here we go, it's 10 to 4, I've slept in Snedden, here we come for TCO. <laughs> Brundle, George Russell. Yes, I've just been to Kings Lynn. My first ever time to Kings Lynn. Now, normally when I come to Snedderton, I will go down the A1 down to like Cambridge and then go along past Thetford and whatnot. So I thought, no, I'll be different this time. I'll go along the A17, I'll go through Kings Lynn, which was mighty, and then on to Snedderton. Now, the thing is on the year 17, I'm sorry people who are watching this, if you're offended by swear words, there will be some that'll pop out during the year. But along the year 17, about half past six this morning, if you were driving a blue VW van on German plates, what the fuck were you doing? 30, when it's 60, I mean, for fuck's sake, the queue you had behind you, the people who were taking silly and dangerous overtaking manoeuvres too but it's miles an hour not kilometres an hour you klutz also yes some people out there are much more intelligent than me and have an ability to retain information from the written word when they've read it because I've read most of the highway code not all of it but I can't remember that part where it says, it's dark, you're in the countryside. Full beam on all the fucking time. I can't remember that bit. Does it also explain that oncoming traffic is, is impervious to your light in the face? Yes, and the other thing, even if it's not full beam, then you can actually adjust the height of your fucking lights because divvy bastards like me cannot say what's coming. Anyway, I'm going to have a pine out. It's 7.30. I am about 40 minutes away from Snedderton. And I'm going to eat a chicken and mushroom pie. And it's cold. So there you go. <laughs> Windy, and you can't see the thing that I'm seeing because it's all 
Yeah, I take it. The deer is to flog as I can round the track, tack 40s, and talk to people. That's taking photographs and interviewing drivers for the TCR UK Championship finale. It is forecast for very heavy rain and because I'm not of the 1DX brigade, so my camera gear needs waterproofs on, so I can't like stick my GoPro on the top because of the. the it's a lovely little uh, photographer's condom. So hopefully, when it's a bit drier later on, I'll be able to clip this on top and do a bit more than just wandering around waffling that I'm adding on, etc, etc, and in finishing. Um, we've had one practice for TCR UK, it was uh, red flagged after two laps, and restart again, some photos taken like these. attack which is again not my cup of tea at all it's just like qualifying all day without the race bit of a red flag in civic qualifying once that's over and done with and sorted I get out some TCR qualifying and I'll take some 40s it's been very wet but as you can probably see the, the rain's headed in that direction doesn't look too bad over there. Might be a few shots. I'll tell you what, I'm going to stick you on top of the camera for a bit. See how it can, eh?
Hey, I'm all steamed up. That's because it's so damp. I've been absolutely drenched today. I mean, right now, I'm soaked in my underwear, in my feet. I've got wrinkly toes and other things. It's very cold. Uh, I don't want to be here. I don't want to do this. Um, so, no. Walking around with a camera talking all day, talking about this, that and the other, which I'm not very good at anyway. That's just not happened. It's just the weather's just been absolutely horrendously terrible. So I stuck the camera on here and there and done a little bit of this and a little bit of that, but a lot of the time it was just too wet to be able to to do anything. Um, but that's that. You know.
Oh, Alright then, yeah. TCR UK 2022 is over and done with. Chris Smiley is your champion. It's been a tense day. Um, it was taken in the last race. Chris was fourth behind Isaac for a lot of the race. Uh, he did try to get up inside up the last turn. I think I, I got some nice shots of that. Uh, the deal was it was a nine point gap going into the final race and Essentially, Isaac had to finish two places. I think I think it was two places ahead, without 
Chris getting fastest lap. Lewis Kent went on to win, second of the year. He's a Velo star. He's finally uh, shown something. But yeah, um, I've got to say, with Chris Smiley and Isaac Smith, I think the both, and this isn't an end of season arsy kissy type thing, but I think the both put in the absolute best performances of the season. Um, Chris unleashed something that we haven't really seen all year. Um, some of maybe some of the, the the BTCC skills came in there, and Isaac's driving was it was wonderful to watch. It really was. Um, I know he hasn't won a race this season, but in the car that he's got, that would have been a hard ask. Anyway, but taking it down to the last round. Uh, if it wasn't a dropped scores championship, it would have been a very different story. But that's the way that it is. That's what you sign up for. They've both been really good. Lewis's um, win was brilliant. Jack Constable, second place. Considering he pulled off in qualifying, as you might have seen earlier on in, in the video, uh, to have gotten through race one and then been nicely positioned for the reverse grid race and to be able to take advantage of it and come home second. Uh, he wasn't going to catch Lewis to DM, I don't think. Um, it's been a good season. Mr. Lyne says TCR is the future. Um, there might be a point to that actually, but that's a video for another time. Uh, the series is really is really, really healthy, really strong. Uh, the thing is, the next year the championship's going to run with the BRSCC, which for me is good because uh, I've got to be honest, this the time attack thing's been good for getting the series in front of big crowds. Uh, it's being packed, um, but for someone like me, I like a full, a full race meeting and I think next year the fact that it's going to be on a full race meeting two dear things so I can actually do some of these probably next year instead of running around like an arse uh, you add in tracks like Knockhill and Croft uh, it's, it's going to be good it's going to be good it's going to be really good so watch this space buy the fucking magazine and enjoy your Christmas <laughs>